What's going on everybody? Today I'm doing the S-Class playlist around Watkins Glen using the Corvette and S-Class. Got the medium tires, qualified second, and there's 10 people in the lobby. So I'm pretty, pretty confident this time around the Corvette is super strong around S-Class and there's a lot of different cars and people running cars that aren't competitive so I've got a good chance at a podium shot and hopefully this time around I don't get hit and fumble it whether it be from my fault or not obviously last time not my fault usually is but we'll see what we can do holding on the second going for the victory or whatever it may be but it's got to be those two. And we're off here. The Camaro covering me off immediately. But I'm immediately going to take that inside line. Try and get. Oh. Yeah. Try and get the cut back. I'm going to get tapped in the rear by. One of the Ferraris on track. And it is getting pretty dangerous already here. Heading into the chicane. And I'm getting wickedly close to the Camaro. He struggled through there. This guy does not want to give an inch for the victory. So... going a bit wide there we're losing out two places we're down in a fourth but we're in the competition so and I get a penalty probably deserve that I mean that was kind of a bad maneuver by my end Just gonna let him go by at this point because we are coming a bit of a nuisance on track it seems so we are in fourth with a pretty hefty time penalty I would say so I'm gonna try and pick off the slipstream here from the Porsche ahead and there's some there's a chance for a podium spot here, so. Just gotta be on top of that. Regaining on the Porsche here, too, so that's a, a crucial note. battle there. Camaro messing up. A very, very crazy battle up ahead and I'm I'm really looking to capitalize on it. Look, yep, look at this, look at this, look at this. Into the tire wall, into the tire wall. I'm in, on the podium in third for a pretty nasty fight. The Porsche was not really looking to lose out there, so I'm gonna try and stick close to him. Doing a pretty decent job at that. It's gone a little deep there, so. Game is not giving a penalty, though. We're gonna get the better on the exit there. And. It's gonna shut me out.
down the straight here, gaining that slipstream. And he is just going you know, so slow through the, the chicane. I'm getting a warning. But I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna have to kinda stay back a little bit because I keep tapping him and stuff, so just gotta be cautious about that. The person behind here in the Mustang just gained an absolute crazy amount of time. Porsche going deep there. And the Mustang capitalizing on that. And they're tangling and I take second. So that is perfect there for me. We're going to get a little slidey there, but we're going to hopefully stay on the podium here on the upcoming final lap. It is it is highly important that we have a good lap, but the Mustang is just flying. Pretty clean so far. We're going pretty quick, I feel like. Tire wear is surprisingly staying pretty intact, but the Mustang is fucking flying. It's going to take second, inevitably. But we are going to have third in the bag here. I just hope the Mustang doesn't decide to collect me for whatever reason. Minor tire wear. He's just going to pass me for a second there. Coming around the final turn here. About to cross the line in third, on the podium at least. Uh, not second, not what we were looking for, but podium nonetheless. In the Corvette car that's pretty strong in the S class. It is uh, it's pretty bulletproof, I would say. So it'll, it'll definitely be an S class contender. I, I struggle to find a decent S class car that is uh, strong. Either way, I appreciate you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.